Looking for the best tool to enhance team collaboration? Well, you're in the right place. Effective collaboration is key to any successful team and agency, but finding the right tool to facilitate this can absolutely be challenging. That's why in today's video, we're exploring why ClickUp stands out as one of the best tools for team collaboration. We'll dive into its features, benefits, and how it can transform the way your team works together. From project management to seamless communication. I'm going to walk you through how to set up your workspace for ultimate team collaboration. I'll also show you super effective ways on how you and your team can manage your tasks, share documents and important information, track progress, give feedback, and communicate effectively all in one place. With ClickUp, you can streamline your workflows, enhance productivity, and make sure everyone is on the same page. If you're ready to boost your team's collaboration, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any productivity tips and tricks. Let's dive in. ClickUp is an incredible tool when it comes to collaborating with and managing your team, but there's absolutely a strategic way to utilize it and set it up so that it's more helpful than hurtful to your team. We have so many agencies and clients come to us that need support optimizing their ClickUp that are frustrated that their team is not able to adopt and stick to the tool, but it really is about the design of the system itself. So before I go into the individual features that are amazing for team collaboration, I want to talk about the strategy and how you need to set up your hierarchy. So there's a fine line between having too many spaces where team members are confused where they should put things or not enough spaces and things are too condensed. So what we typically recommend for our agencies is having no more than 10 spaces total. Now, some agencies, depending on how many workflows, how many team members they have, they could even have as low as like three or four spaces. But here's a general structure that we see work for the majority of agencies. Take this with a grain of salt because your agency is unique in its own. So we have operations, leadership and strategy, marketing and PR, sales, programs and courses, if you have programs and courses, clients, fulfillment and resources and training. Now, the next thing I wanna mention about this is we have other videos diving deeper into the individual templates that we have in terms of managing your marketing strategies, managing project management. I'm not gonna to go too deep into those, but there's also a balance of setting this up, having a really good hierarchy, one that makes sense, but then there's the second piece of that, making sure that you're setting your team up for success. So this is where you want to make sure they feel comfortable accessing what they have to do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So in this case, we will also set up everything view calendars for each team member. So not only are you able to see obviously what you have to do, but then you can create calendars for the different team members. So the managers and the team as a whole know what everyone's working on. So you're able to to track workload, capacity, resourcing, because everyone has such clear insight into what each person has on their schedule. So you can do things like everything view, you can utilize the home, the new ClickUp home is amazing. You can also do things like have team member dashboards where it's showing, okay, here's what I have due today, here's what's overdue coming up this week, etc. So that's a little bit about the hierarchy. I just wanted to give that brief overview of, yes, ClickUp is amazing for team collaboration, but you want to make Make sure that it's set up in the right way so your team can thrive. Next, I want to talk about ClickUp for task and project management when it comes to team collaboration. So I always recommend that in your operations space or something similar, you have individual team task lists. So not only is this a place for you to drop your own notes, but you can also then pop into other team members lists and add things for them as well. So this way things don't have to get stuck in Slack. If it's like a simple thing that you want to update them about. You can add it into their list. You can also create a quick shortcut in these that automatically assign the task to that person. So anytime you're adding this, 
you'll see if I put a task in here, it's automatically going to assign me. For Jeff, it'll automatically assign him, etc. So this is not to be confused with project management, where if I click into our project management template, if it's a task related to that specific project, whether it's a client project or internal project, you want to make sure that you're putting those tasks in that specific list. But what's great about this is on this level, you'll then be able to see the whole entire project at a glance, who's working on what, what's the status of everything. And then you'll also be able to to come into here and then collaborate with your team via the comment section. So if I'm working on this task with Jeff, I could be like at Jeff, any update update on this one? Do you need my support, etc. And then we can collaborate via comments. I personally love the comments feature and this is where we see so many teams that use Slack. We use Slack as well. It is an amazing tool, but you want to make sure things aren't getting lost in there. When you're going to a task, I'll show you this in a content workflow example. You want to be able to track all the progress for that specific thing in one place instead of having to dig through individual Slack messages in an entire channel of updates. The great thing about this as well is if you're commenting back and forth to people, ClickUp has an amazing updated and super sleek inbox. So here I'm able to see anything that's been mentioned to me. I actually aim to achieve inbox zero it's not possible every single day, but at least once a week, I'm going to get my inbox all the way down to no notifications. And aside from if we're taking Slack into consideration and comparing them, this is so great because it's an actual log. So I'll keep things in here until I've actually taken care of them. And then I'll go ahead and clear them out. It's like the level right under a task list, right? Because on your task list, you're working through those things and you're marking them as complete. Here you're being like, okay, who do I have to respond to? What do I have to review, et cetera. But in the same vein, another thing that's amazing for team collaboration is if you are using outside tools like Slack, you can integrate them in the App Center. So ClickUp has updated their Slack integration and really their App Center in general to be more universal throughout your tools. And it is amazing. So you can actually preview what those things look like. Like for example, if I am in this task, right? And me and a team member are going back and forth in Slack. What I could do is in Slack, let me actually pull this up and show you how you can link this to ClickUp. I actually have to pull a different task because that was my mock workspace. So taking the link to this, clicking on the three dots, add comment to task, I'm pasting that link in here, clicking add. And now you're going to see this has been added to that ClickUp comment. I could also click on Slack and see all of the Slack messages that were added to this specific task. So there are also amazing integrations that you can use to take that team collaboration and centralization of information to the next level. The next thing you're also going to see is dependencies in here. So if you're utilizing dependencies, so blocking and waiting on dependencies, you're then going to be able to keep your team in the loop about project and task statuses without having to actually communicate that to the team members. So for example, if I come into my task list and I go to complete this task and start working on it September 6th, but I see I'm waiting on something, I can then click into this and then ask that person, hey, what is the update on this thing? Is it done? Can I start my job? How many times as companies and agencies do we find ourselves going to start one thing and we didn't get that progress update if there was a delay on the team member's end? The other amazing thing about this as well is say that this was lagging. If I change the due date, then it's also just automatically going to reschedule all the tasks that are following it. So dependencies are a huge feature when you're collaborating with your team. It's going to make it so seamless. So now I want to go ahead and pop into marketing and talk about some really cool collaboration features when it comes to automations and also other features when it comes to commenting and collaborating on things like images or documents. So when I click into a task in here in this pipeline, what's really cool about this is obviously you can see all the custom fields we have in here making our lives easier, but if you have attachments 
in that ClickUp task, you can actually comment directly on the task and then mention people. So say this was like at Nina, our designer, can we replace this mock-up with, and then you can attach a new mock-up. Then I can send that over. I can actually assign that to Nina, right? So it's already assigned. And then once she does that, she can resolve this. So you can comment directly on that. You can also have things like pitch decks. You can have things like videos and comment directly on those images. Everything's again going to stay logged in this task, you can see. And then the next thing is now we can actually utilize automations when we're moving tasks from statuses to statuses. So here you'll see in this list, I have eight automations. So when I the status changes to needs edits, it's going to reassign the team member with a due date of one day later, right? So if I go ahead and comment, hey, Nina, can you change this? Can you change this? And then all I have to do is move this to needs edits. She's gonna get those comments. This is then gonna reassign her with a due date of one day later. And then it's out of my hands onto her plate automatically. I don't have to worry about reassigning things, looking at her schedule when it's clear. It actually makes it so much easier to collaborate on specific materials. The same thing goes with docs as well. Let me use the example of team meeting management. You can have different meeting agendas, like here, for example, say we have our weekly team meeting. You can have the agendas linked in that actual task, and then the entire team can collaborate on that agenda before the actual meeting, add their notes, real-time updates, et cetera, and everything's gonna be in that one centralized location. This is especially helpful as well, because when you add this, now this doc is public to everyone in the workspace unless you private it. So in other words, you're not having to say you're creating a doc in Google Drive, then you have to remember to share it with the team. Then they're like, where do I go and find this? With ClickUp Docs and using this type of structure, it's so much easier to keep everything organized. A few other powerful features when it comes to team collaboration and ClickUp is the use of native time tracking. So you can actually track time directly in tasks themselves multiple people can track time against that thing as well. And then ClickUp has a time sheets feature where you can not only see everything that you've tracked, but then all of the time tracking metrics across your entire team. So especially as you're growing your company and your agency, time tracking and knowing where your team members are spending the most time, where things need to be optimized, when they're at capacity, and the fact that ClickUp has this built in is so powerful because you're able to actually see the exact tasks that they have time tracked against. So if I go ahead into here and I see this one minute, I can then see where this is directly re related to. So this was tracked in the weekly team meeting. You can even do things with dashboards as well to see, okay, how much time was tracked in client projects versus internal projects versus admin, et cetera. Is there any way that we could potentially automate things to save time for our team members? There are so many other things that you can do to collaborate with your team, but I want to talk about two other use case examples. The first one is the ideas hub that we create is that we have a place in our ClickUp and we always recommend encouraging your team that if they have ideas, whether it's for the company itself, whether it's for a new automation, a client project where you can streamline processes, that you create a place where your team members are able to write down these ideas and then you can collaborate and decide if you're going to move them to the pipeline and put them into action. So you can create a simple list like this where you're Team members can go ahead and add these things. Then the managers can go ahead and move it to, okay, let's go ahead and move this to the pipeline. Maybe let's put it on hold and pursue later. Maybe it's not an idea that we want to pursue. And then is this actually implemented? The other thing about this is you'll also want to create an automation that when the task is created, that it can either assign you know the manager or whoever for a specific date 
Or you can have routine check-ins of this, maybe quarterly. You go ahead and review all of the new ideas in here and decide if you want to put them into action in the following quarters, maybe later on in the year. So speaking of putting things into action, we also recommend tracking your goals in ClickUp. So as you can see, we have our goal tracker here where you can actually use custom task types, which is a really great feature, and you can write your goals for the entire year. You can say who's the owner of this, when are we looking to accomplish this by, what department, etc. And then it's having the team buy-in not only so they know what the goals are for the company, but then you're also able to track how those goals are progressing. This is also going to be great for in terms of raises for your teams, performance reviews, and everything like that. So those are just a few use cases. Obviously, the list goes on of different things that you can collaborate with your team in ClickUp, but I wanted to not only show you some concrete examples, but also the different features like comments and automations and dependencies that ClickUp does so well to make sure that everyone is on the same page. So that, I hope this video was helpful in learning how you can utilize ClickUp to collaborate with your team effectively. Are you ready to revolutionize the way your team operates? We've empowered hundreds of agencies and teams to become seamless and efficient powerhouses with the power of ClickUp. So if you're ready to implement a clear system and scale your agency to new heights, go ahead and visit desilvalife.com slash contact to inquire about working with us today. With that, thank you so much for watching and supporting our channel. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any other productivity tips and tricks. And if you know someone that could benefit from this video, feel free to go ahead and share it. With that, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.